Sonic Kids Central Planting Seeds Bobby met Miss Falani in the hallway on his way to Kids Central. Hello, Bobby, she said. I saw your mom the other day at the grocery store. She is so cheerful and nice. Do you have anything special planned for Mother's Day? Bobby swallowed. Oh, Mother's Day? When is that? Miss Falani laughed. <laughs> it's next Sunday, Bobby. You have 12 days. I'm sure you'll think of something sweet. Maybe we'll make something for Mother's Day in Kids Central, Bobby thought as he opened the gym door. While Miss Shelley was setting up the tables, Bobby asked Jason what he was doing for his mom on Mother's Day. My dad and I are going to bake her a cake, Jason said. Why? What are you doing? Miss Shelley blew her whistle. Please put away your things and come over, she called. Miss Shelley passed out paper cups. Today we are going to turn these paper cups into flower pots said Miss Shelley. How do we turn them into flower pots? Izzy wanted to know. By planting flower seeds in them, said Miss Shelley. What kind of flower seeds are we planting? Bobby asked. Moms always like flowers. Maybe this could be his present. Miss Shelley held up a bag. Marigolds, she said. Then she showed them a picture. Marigolds are small plants with green leaves and yellow-orange flowers. Those would be perfect for my mom, don't you think? Bobby whispered to Jason. I guess so. How about getting her a video game? Jason said. Jason, mom's like chocolate, not video games, Izzy said. Miss Shelley tapped the table with her pencil. First, use your pencil to poke a hole in the bottom of your paper cup. That way, when we water the plants, the extra water can drain out. Next, fill the cup with soil. Please go and dip your cup into that box of soil over there. Miss Shelley pointed to a box on the floor. Then we dig a little hole with our fingers and put the seeds in, right? Izzy said. She had planted flowers with her mom before. Exactly, Miss Shelley said. She gave each kid a few seeds. After that, we give them water and sun. And we wait for them to grow. Wait for them to grow, Bobby thought nervously. He had forgotten that it took a long time for seeds to turn into plants. Miss Shelley, Bobby asked, will our marigolds bloom by Mother's Day? I'm afraid not, Bobby. It takes a month or two for them to grow, Miss Shelley answered. Oh, no! Bobby's heart sank. Now he had nothing to give his mom for Mother's Day. I know, you could give the pot to her next Sunday anyway. 
And then when the flowers bloom, it will be like Mother's Day all over again, Nina said. Bobby smiled. What a great idea. That's just what he'd do. The Carter Family, Episode 21. It's Mother's Day. Emmy and Mom were planting flowers. Sunday is a special day, said Mom. I know, said Emmy. We don't have to go to school. <laughs> Dad and Harry were watching TV. Sunday will be a very fun day, said Mom. Yes, said Harry. There's a great baseball game on TV. Oliver and Rover were playing outside. Mom tossed the ball to Rover, too. Do you know what Sunday is? She asked Oliver. Yep, said Oliver proudly. Sunday is the day after Saturday. <laughs> Poor mom. Sunday was Mother's Day. But no one in the family remembered. On Sunday, the kids woke up early. Let's surprise mom with breakfast, said Emmy. She thinks we forgot about Mother's Day. Emmy and Dad made blueberry pancakes. Harry got the maple syrup. Oliver put some pretty flowers in a vase. Then they carried the tray upstairs. Happy Mother's Day! cried everyone. But Mom wasn't in her room. I'm home, called Mom. The kids and Dad ran downstairs. Where were you? asked Emmy. I went out to buy some bagels, said Mom. I wanted a special Mother's Day breakfast. And that is just what I got. The Real Mother's Day when do people in the United States make the most telephone calls? On what day do most people in the United States go out to eat? The answer is Mother's Day, the second Sunday in May. On this day, sons and daughters thank their mothers for all their hard work and care. Anna Jarvis is the woman who started Mother's Day in 1914. Why? What was the real Mother's Day supposed to be about? In the 1800s, the United States was fighting a civil war. Injured soldiers and many other people needed care. In 1858, a woman from Pennsylvania named Ann Jarvis wanted to help. Ann Jarvis was the mother of Anna Jarvis. 
She organized women to provide medical care for soldiers and people affected by the war. The women volunteered in groups called Mother's Day Work Clubs. The clubs were neutral. They helped soldiers and their families on both sides of the war. Ann Jarvis and the Mother's Day Work Clubs helped thousands of people to eat, live, and work safely. Near the end of the war, Anne held a Mother's Friendship Day to bring everybody together in peace. Soldiers who had fought each other sat next to each other as friends. This day was so successful that it was repeated for many years after. All her life, during wartime and peacetime, Anne Jarvis helped other people. After she died in 1905, her daughter Anna wanted her mother's good work to be remembered. In 1908, Anna Jarvis held a church service to remember her mother. At the church, Anna handed people white carnations. These white carnations symbolized love and strength, qualities which her mother had possessed. Anna liked the church service very much. She decided to create a holiday to remember mothers everywhere. So, she promoted the idea to the government. Finally, in 1914, President Wilson made Mother's Day a holiday. Soon after, Mother's Day became very commercial. Selling things on Mother's Day became more important than its meaning. Florists and stores encouraged people to buy a card, a carnation, or a gift for Mother's Day. People forgot that they could just spend time with their mothers. Anna Jarvis disliked this. She asked florists to stop selling flowers for Mother's Day, but they refused. Anna Jarvis spent many years reminding people of the true meaning of Mother's Day. This Mother's Day, why don't you think about the real meaning of Mother's Day? Do something special for your mother instead of simply buying a gift. You could do extra chores, go for a walk with her, or play her favorite music. That's what the real Mother's Day is about.